G'day guys, welcome to the Film Meister Show, episode one, part two, with Sarah Sassy Pants. Hope you enjoy it. The show is streamed live on Twitch. Um, we're just waiting on Sarah Sassy Pants to join uh, into the interview. But guys, um, again, appreciate everyone out there. Thank you, Conquer, for the raid. I hope everyone's enjoying their night, their Easter Friday so far. Um, I'll give you uh, a bit of a more of a, I guess, extended or additional answer and information onto it. I want to do this and sort of where the future of my streams will be. So basically I've in the last year I've I've really enjoyed Apex Legends and that's kind of been the main game that I've played. But like Lee has said, it is harder to play a competitive game and be engaged with chat. So it's been it's been a little bit hard, I guess, to engage with people there. But you know, chat has found a way to do little cheeky things here and there like uh, I think they donate one bit, they cheer one bit, and they do like the <laughs> text to speech and go, <clears throat> which my I've taught my daughter how to do. Uh, get hey, how are you, champion? I cannot hear you. Um, let me uh, want to try talk again, maybe. Check if your mic settings are mic. Can't hear. All right. Should be able to hear me now. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Sarah Sassy Pants, welcome to the stream. How are you? Very nice. Got my Phil Meister shirt. Hey, I know that t shirt. Very nice. Yeah. Looks good you on got you. It. Um, but yeah, welcome Sarah Sassy Pants to the stream. Um, I'll give you your intro. She has nearly 100 followers on Twitch and is known to get amongst it from quite a few different games. She loves collecting and has a massive games and Blu-ray collection. Get your turkey gobble on for the one, the only, Sarah Sassy Pants. <gasps> <laughs> uh, Far out. Come here. Hey, blub. How are you, mate? How's blub doing, by the way? Go to bed. Hey, he yeah. should, he should be in bed by now, actually. He was a good, good boy today. Yeah, nice. Very nice. good boy today. Mate, how are you holding up? You've been yep. uh, back at work. We were away for a couple of weeks. Yeah. How was, how was this week for you? Pretty, uh, maybe it came back and I had a full inbox. It was not fun, but we got there. We got there in the two days that we had. Um, I, I got back to having zero unread emails, so that was all nice. right. And then Thursday night, had my stream. Now it's Friday, good Friday, four yeah. day week. That's awesome. We got a long weekend, four day week, four day weekend, going into another four day week. I, I tell you what, though, like life's been good the last. Three weeks, month, I reckon. Hey. Yeah. It's gonna well, the, like the last two, the the last week, this week and next week's, going on a holiday, having time off. Just love it. Plus, then we've got Anzac Day coming up. I too, know, so, so it's another four days. It's gonna be another four day week. <laughs> like, fuck yeah! Uh, awesome. Lead Digital says another ex work mate. It's just a reunion, mate. I'm not an ex work <laughs> mate. Work mate. She still Lee works keeps there. Forgetting, I still work there, mate. I, think... I still work there. <laughs> I think it's because you move you teams. In, yeah, maybe if you come into the office every now and then, like you nah, remember. Nah, nah, soon, soon. He said he'll come in soon, and then I'm gonna probably visit. Maybe, maybe I'll come visit. See the Bro, you're facility. forgetting your manager dates my manager. Remember what? 
yeah. Come on now, then. let's not dox yeah, each other. His here. manager is nah, his no. manager. My manager like are together. Ah, uh, very nice. They do something together. Very nice. <laughs> Um, but yeah, welcome to the stream. Thanks for um, you know coming on. I appreciate it. I know you're one of the homies. Been you've been around, you've been yeah. around together, getting amongst it. Go way got back. A, got a bit of history. Um, for those of you who don't, for those that don't know who you are, could you give a summary of uh, you know who you are, what you what you do, you know what what brought you onto Twitch, content creation and whatnot, and yeah, we'll go from there. Yeah, so I'm Sarah Sassy Pants. I got the name Sassy Pants actually because I was a big SpongeBob fan, and um, I had this um, a friend that would always call me um, SpongeBob. And <laughs> one time I, on uh, Facebook, as a joke, changed my name to uh, SpongeBob Sassy Pants, and then um, and then eventually I just changed it back to Sarah Sassy Pants, and so the Sassy Pants stuck and. So that's that's my name for Twitter and Twitch and everything nowadays. Nice. Um, and I've always been a big gamer, like, you know, ever since I was, a, I don't know, like seven years old, I played the old Atari at my uncle's place. Um, and then my dad got like the Commodore, like the Commodore Amiga, I think it was. Wow. Like, and that was big. That's showing my age, I have man. no idea what that is. The Commodore Amiga. <laughs> oh, it's classic. Absolute <laughs> classic. Um. And so, yeah, I grew up like playing PC and I think I got a master system was my first ever console. Nice. And then from there I went to Mega Drive. From there I went to PlayStation. So I'm I'm like, I'm a big Xbox gamer, but yep. my first, the first console that I absolutely loved was the PlayStation. So um, I was a big PlayStation fan and then I went to Xbox and then I got the 360 and then I went back to PlayStation. I got the PlayStation 3. Now I just buy them all. <laughs> I just I know. buy them all. <laughs> you buy multiple versions of yeah. them as well. <laughs> so like I just I, I love games so much. I play games. Um, you got onto Twitch, and then I was like, man, I, I'm just gonna like put up a Twitch. So yeah, like I'm not doing it because I want to be big. I, I'm not doing it because I want to um make money. I I just do it because I've always loved people talking to people. Like yep. I'm massive socialite. So um for a long time I was a bartender I think everybody knows I've put that on my profile I used to be a bartender so I'd always be meeting people and talking to people and um I just thought that hey like Twitch would be a really good way to combine my love of gaming and just talking to people so all I want from Twitch is really just to meet people that I wouldn't normally meet um, and just change their lives in a little way. You know, sometimes like I, I see that Twitch is a place where a lot of people go when they don't have people they, they can talk to, like they just yeah. like to chat or, or listen to somebody. So, um, I like being there and, and hopefully being that person for some people. So that's how I got onto Twitch. Yeah. I feel like and why I'm here. Yeah. Like every time someone comes into your stream, like even you just have a chat with someone and you go onto a tangent where it's like your 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 topic it's like you know something about that topic or you can talk about whatever they're talking about mm. i feel like you know like a broad range of stuff so you can pretty much talk to anyone if they come into chat um and like you you like a whole bunch of different games as well so it's like you're playing you know one game and then you're talking about another sometimes and you're like oh have you played this and yeah it's been cool to watch you stream and get amongst the in chat you know, watching you as well and watching, yeah. you, <laughs> watching you shit your pants on the scary nights and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> that happened the other night too. Happened sure. last night. Yeah, there was, shrimpy there. I was like, ah! and when I get scared, my whole body shakes too. It's yeah. quite embarrassing. Got to add those little, little <laughs> sound bites to it. But like when I first, um, like, cause I knew that you were doing Twitch and I didn't tune in a lot. Um, I was like really busy back then. Oh yeah, like my, my super busy. Man. What like for my for my work? Yeah. My work hasn't been as 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 bad now, but um, I never really got to see you much. But I mean, I've told you this, but Dad um, on them. I <laughs> <laughs> um I think it was like there was a time there where um I got sick. I got quite sick, and I ended yeah. up in hospital, and um. And this, it, this comes back to what I was saying about like being there for people who 
can sometimes be lonely. I was mm. lonely. I was in hospital um, and, you know, nothing serious for everybody listening. Like it was just a, um, to do with my gallbladder. But um, I was lonely and I had my tablet there and you were on Twitch. And so I was like, oh, I'll just tune in and watch you play. And it was really nice just to have a mate yeah. there talking and, you know, I would type every now and then, but I was like really lonely in hospital. Mm. And um, the more that I engaged on Twitch and watched other people stream, I saw that that was a common theme. Like there, yeah. it was a common thing that people are sick um, or they're, they've got a hard, going through a hard time or, um, you know, depressed or going through a breakup or whatever. And Twitch is there for those people. And so, yeah, that comes back to that. That's, that's how I sort of um, started supporting you a bit more on this um on this journey and how i wanted to start my journey because uh, i wanted to be that person yep so well it's yeah. been awesome co-streaming and supporting each other yeah um, it's been good it's getting amongst games playing playing halo i'm still waiting for that apex debut but uh, we'll see <laughs> what happens i don't play <laughs> oh you see me reckons that i cheat mate we all, said that i cheat i've we never all played see the war hacks bro come on how can See, I cheat? I'm not even a PC main. Exactly. That's what makes it even more ridiculous. How do you do it? <laughs> How do you do it? Um, but yeah, no, nah, that's really good. Thanks for that summary. Um, yeah, we've known each other for, I don't know, what, 15 ish years, maybe less. I can't remember. Yeah, I think. Um, like 2010. No, nah, before that, mate. 20, it would have been. 2008. 2007 2008 i think because yeah. we went on the um we went on the blue mountains trip together i think oh, when yeah. i first met you yeah that was around 2008 i think that, that was that was back when my sister was like the boys have a boys cabin and the girls have a girls cabin and like <laughs> the boys cabin stank <laughs> like but i think that was when i first met you like you jared dave dave was doing his little moonwalk yeah <laughs> you know what it is but yeah, I'm pretty sure that was like 2007 or eight. Yeah, it was around. Yeah, it was oh, around no, 2008. Right. So yeah, around what? It's 14 been a fair years. While. Been a fair while. Done a, done quite a bit of trips to Melbourne, Brisbane. Yeah. Been around. What's your um? What would you say has been your favourite game to stream? Mm. Started. Have Because uh... I know you play a bit of variety. Yeah. Like that you've finished, you know, maybe a story that you've liked the most. Yeah. Um, I think I've really enjoyed, I, I really enjoyed playing Spider-Man yep. on stream because that actually brought in a lot of different people to talk to. Um, and the last of us, the last of us brought in a lot of people and those two games, I think in particular, they resonate with people Yeah. and because they resonate with people, they go, Oh, I want to see someone else play that for the first time. Um, and so both of those games I'd never played before. So, yeah. um, people love watching others play that. Um, Welcome so yeah, back, I, sorry. Welcome back seal. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like, you know, um, I, I, I think I, I really enjoyed Spider-Man mostly. Watching um, you play Spider-Man was funny. Uh, I think watching you play Spider-Man and watching you play Hitman, probably Hitman was my favorite. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hitman was bad, man. That was the funniest thing ever. I was so bad at I that game. I legit wish I could, like, just create clips of you and just have fail, like, compilation. Yeah. <laughs> but, see, that's that's why I love doing Twitter. It's uh, not Twitter. Twitter Twitch. Twitch. Yep. Like, I don't care. I mean... If I'm not streaming, usually I'm spending, like, usually I'm paying more attention to what I'm doing. Yeah. But when I'm streaming, I'm so busy engaging with other people, sometimes not listening to what's going on in the game. Yeah. And it's like the half like I, paying attention sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, when I was playing Dead Space the other day and I kept getting hit, I'm like, why am I getting hit? And then I realized that the audio log that I didn't listen to told me how to get past that part. And I was like, well, I wasn't listening because I oh, was yeah. gibbering. I remember, so, I remember, I'm like, hey, Sarah, you know that little pop up in the middle of the screen right there? I'm like, that's what you need to do. <laughs> you have fire ram? Oh, oh man. Um, but yeah, Dead Space is fun as well because um, it scares the shit out of me. And I would not like to play that game if it was, I mean, I would, but I wouldn't have as much fun playing that game if it wasn't for me shitting my pants and people being able to laugh at it. Yeah. That's good about horror streamers. 
is people love watching other people get get scared sh- like shit scared yeah it's good it's good content no it is like i think playing like i i used to play i even used to watch more scary movies back in the day than i do now so like well like thrillers like saw and mm, you know final yeah. destination and all these other random ones but yeah. it's like i think streaming watching a streamer play a game and it's like phasmophobia or dead by daylight like even playing it i'm just like bloody hell this guy's chasing me why is he chasing me why is <laughs> why is he like why is he not chasing anyone else um yeah it's like you're kind of on the edge of your seat and then you're and then it's like even when i'm playing apex i've got people in my ears doing these little fucking bloop and sound down bites and whatnot i'm just like fuck i can't hear what i'm doing and it, and sometimes it's like you know when you can do like a jump scare like sound clip it's like that then makes you shit your pants even more so you're like on edge already and yeah. that just like scares you so i've seen a ton of clips of like where people are playing scary games or whatnot um i'd like to play faz with you yeah if you get like i bought it the other day it never goes on sale but i bought it the other day on pc so oh yeah uh, i'm gonna get i'm gonna obviously struggle because i don't know what keys are what my brother actually A W S D. that's it yeah my <laughs> brother said to me have you heard of the game called phasmophobia i've played it with like my sister and whatnot i'm like okay but he's he's played it so it sounds like you know maybe we could do a scary yeah. stream test one day if i um eventually get it I, you know my backlog i know your backlog as well we've got, we've got <laughs> the longest die before i get through my backlog. longest <laughs> backlogs in all of bloody twitch and oce probably maybe the yeah. world um cl has asked in the chat did one of you suggest streaming to the other i don't think we ever talked about streaming i i think so when i started streaming i think i tried to promote it within my family and my friends as much as i could so whoever came in came in and i know in the beginning we played i can't remember if it was sarah but like my brother and my cousins i played a lot with them and i played um played a lot of rocket league so i started streaming terraria Played some Rocket League, played some Battlefield. DMs Philly when you have a break. Yep. All good, brother. And then, um, yeah. I think what started it off for you um, was there was a position available for Telstra Media content, content Creator. Yeah, that's it. And you, I remember talking to you about it and you're like, you wanted to do it. So you, you did it for Terraria, Terraria, whatever it's yep. called. And then you put your little clip together and it was Phil Meister Gaming. And that's how you got the name. And then I think you just got the bug for it because yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that it was within two months. You were like, yeah, you started up Twitch. So, so I, I explained a little bit of that in, in Lazy to you, but to go back, like, so when it was 2016, so when I when I tried streaming first in 2016 and my internet couldn't handle it, I had pen sketched my logo <laughs> the way I wanted it to look in 2016. This so one? I, that that one. That one that you're wearing. So I, I I pen sketched it, like I drew it in an art book. Yeah. I'm like, this is what I want. This is exactly how I want it. It's like so like what, four years later? I'm like can the dream I, was realized. Can I get this created? So <laughs> my friend, Ashley, she's a graphic designer. She's actually helped me with the background that you see here, guys. And and she's actually helped me um, with a whole bunch of stuff. So the logo I actually did myself. And then I sent it to her. And then she just made it. She just made it better. Like, because I, I use paint.net. It's free, like open source software. You can't do a lot. It's like limited in its functionality. But it did the job. So when I sent it to her, she just made it slightly better like she made it a bit more professional so i really liked the way it looked and turned out so i appreciate her and she's actually helped with the background here in the way like this color scheme looks i'm like i like black red and gray that's my color scheme as you can see by the film logo mkd um (laughs) that's another logo i want to get done in the future and i've sketched that i i you need one of these mate what's that a thick thick knob i mean (laughs) it's it's right here (laughs) No, you need the red, see? No, nah, no, nah, it's RGB, mate. We don't need a I don't need a light in every friggin' thing. Should I... <laughs> Where's your PC case? Show them your PC case. It's got lights. Yeah, I can't bring my camera down. But, mate, I want to I wanna set up multiple cameras one day. So when I when I get the, you know, $1,000 camera <laughs> that I want one day, 
we'll have uh, a couple of different uh you know scenes we can do but yeah it's a bit hard in the in the in this apartment at the moment so maybe when i get my own stream room when we move houses one day when we win the lotto that would be nice <laughs> um but yeah like i was saying so like with with me wanting to do this i've wanted to do it for a while so yeah that video game reviewer kind of pushed me into it made me quit youtube and then i did the streaming on on um twitch um and then in that six months that i did that i didn't i wasn't on youtube i was just on twitch so i was streaming five days a week so i was streaming on monday wednesday uh friday saturday sunday so i streamed quite a bit and then I was like, this is too much. So I canceled my Sunday streams because I was streaming like three days in a row. And yeah, it was exhausting. So right now, because I'm trying to do so much, like I'm trying to learn how to do everything myself because I don't have the budget to just pay people to do it. I'm staying up late and I'm staying up too late. So I'm fucking my sleep over, you know. Mm. It's like, oh, it's a, bit, it's a bit shit. But from that Brisbane trip, I've kind of realized not touching my PC. I get tired and I just go to bed. And it was like 12 o'clock, so 12, maybe 11, 11.30. I'm like, I can go to sleep now. Like, yeah, whatever. And I'll, I'll just play my 3DS, like, play a little bit before you I go to bed. You wake up early too, eh? Yeah, you like wake you up wake early. wake up early, good. <laughs> sometimes you don't. Sometimes you sleep a bit. <laughs> uh, I woke up early. Like, normally I can ignore my son crying. Like, and yeah, my, yeah. my partner is sort of... Um, you know, she gets him up and I'll fall back asleep. But when I was on holiday, he was crying and I was up and I was like, I'm sweet. Like I'm ready to go for a day and walk around. Like, cause we did a lot of walking while yeah, we were on yeah. holidays. And so when we came back, I was like, I got to try and put my laptop away, put the phone away <clears> and <throat> resume that. Cause my body was so much better after doing that. Oh yeah. You just didn't feel so fatigued. I don't know mm. what it was. Mm. And so I was like, okay, so even, it's not a problem with yeah. my body. It's a problem with my sleep. I think even though you, like I had some average sleep as well because I wasn't sleeping in my own bed. I was sleeping on the bed on the floor. I was sharing beds and smaller the beds. bed on the floor? Yeah, we had to move a mattress onto the floor to be able to fit more people on there. What? Oh, how, many, a, how many threesomes were you having, mate? Oh, mate, I don't want to get into I it. wasn't part of this, people, just yeah, so you know. my wife. Don't tell my wife. We had a lot of beds. <laughs> we had a lot of... <laughs> no, it's <was> just <laughs> putting all the kids in the bloody room because, like, yeah, sleeping in like a foreign place, they didn't really adjust for them, so it was a bit. Oh, hard. so like the place where you stayed was it a more than one bedroom house? Yeah, there was multiple bedrooms, so but the it kids was didn't want to sleep. Nah, they just like my son Jaden. He just kept coming out of the bedroom, yeah, just nonstop. So I was like, this is ridiculous, yeah. and he kept on doing, having day sleeps because he was so tired. So yeah. It was kind of like a vicious cycle. So he wouldn't yeah. go to bed at night because he wasn't tired enough. So then yeah. we'd have to like have him in with us. So it was a bit, a bit annoying, but yeah. So he's, and he always sort of kept saying, oh, I want to go home. I want to go home. And I'm like, oh, we're not going home. We're on a holiday. So I'm like, fire. This is That's like crazy. When I was a kid, I was like, I don't want to go home. I'd get home and I'd cry from going home. Yeah. Well, how old were you though? Were you three and a half or were you like six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine? Yeah, true that. I, I think I would have been... 10 or something yeah 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 probably a little bit older i don't remember my life when i was three and a half really i mean only snippets <laughs> all right so let me get be with chat ceo has said uh, i'm sorry so poker sambi uh yeah would love to see a collaboration one day so yeah we we did collab i think sarah and i can do irl streams or irl content pretty easily yeah so we we're supposed to do one more away I think we were supposed to do some more stuff, but we only got like really a lot of time mm. together at that Corumban sanctuary. Mm. We were there with the kids. So I was like, it's hard because we're juggling kids and we're, you know, it's a family holiday. So it's like, I didn't want to have it all about me and record yeah. content sort of thing. And it was yeah. actually, I actually liked having the break off stressing of what I was going to post. So it was like, yeah, I think switching off was good. Yeah um cl is saying sarah would you rather fight one elephant sized ant or a thousand ant sized elephants <laughs> i've heard of this before a thousand ant sized elephants because you just step on them yeah that'll be you gotta clean your shoe after that probably clean your culture kings mate <laughs> clean my tube your shoes <laughs> oh my shoes <laughs> your, your tube just, just burn them noob tube um 
CL again is saying, if you could only save one Pokemon card from a burning building, which card would it be? Would you save and why is it a Dragonite? <laughs> I think CL <laughs> loves Dragonite. <laughs> Mate. It's it's not. It's a Bulbasaur. <laughs> <laughs> what? Not even a Venusaur? Come on. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, one of them. It, but it wouldn't be a Charizard. It oh, wouldn't. God. It, I'm not... <sighs> Everybody's on the Charizard. And you know what's weird? I'm actually a massive, like, I'm a big fan of dragons, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Ever since I was a kid, like, look at this. Oh, my my mum bought this for me. Nice. I've got, like, just because my bookshelf's just here. I've got, I've got so many dragon books. Yeah, I've I love, like, dragon. Did you love everywhere. the movie Dragonheart? How good I've was got, that movie? I've got a dragon tattoo, man. Oh, oh, careful, careful. Nudity. Nah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got dragon tattoo, right? Okay, I'm a massive dragon fan, but I was like, everybody loves Charizard, so I was like, nah, I want to, I, I, I prefer to go for something else. And then I saw the little Bulbasaur little toad, and Venusaur, and I was like, this dude's cool, you know? He's like chill. He's green, which is my favorite color. I was green. like, I like that dude. That dude is mine. So yeah. <laughs> so Sarah's saving a is. Bulbasaur and a Venusaur. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh question for bulby. Sass from Nino Legend. G'day Nino, how are you, brother? Um, when did you first notice your pants were sassy? Oh <laughs> yeah, I just explained this before why they were sassy. Oh she it had too to many do sponges, with SpongeBob. Mate. <laughs> it was to do with SpongeBob. <laughs> I loved I love SpongeBob SquarePants and Yeah. Um changed changed my Facebook name to SpongeBob Sassy Pants. And then the SpongeBob part got replaced by Sarah, Sarah. and the Sassy yeah. Pants stayed. And then you got kicked off the platform because they didn't think it was your real name. That's right. And I refused to change it to my real name, so now they've lost me. Yeah, so when I'm when I'm in <laughs> Facebook, guys, sometimes you see me chatting to myself because Sarah's not there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Fiona chats. It's like Fiona oh all God. the time. All the previous conversations that we had. So, um. um CEO was like, come over, I'll take you to meet Nessie in Scotland. Here a shot. I do have, um, actually, when my mum went to Scotland, she did bring back a little Nessie magnet and a Nessie tea towel. And the tea towel has, like, all these different things of Nessie, which is so cute. It's like him dressed up all different all different ways. Have you seen um, the South Park episode where he's like, God damn, lock this busher? He's like, I want tree fitty. <laughs> <laughs> From the no, Ksh- Paleozoic girl. I'll send you the link. It's a fucking funny clip. But at the Loch Ness Monster, though, now that we're talking about this, guys, yeah. wasn't it just a couple of tires in the water? <laughs> Is was that it? what it was? I don't know. There's only one photo in existence that I've seen of this supposed Loch Ness monster. It just Suppose looks like, it was like a, a robot or something, like someone faked it. Yeah, probably. Like, it's so easy to fake things these days. It's like you put but... a little tea towel on a pole and you lifted it up and it made it the head or... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> some weird. Probably just but, like, bloody CLs, bloody dirty laundry. But think about, um, like how the world has changed and and how it was when the like when we first got photography what back in when was the first photo it was like late 1800s or something and I have no people, idea. when people started getting handheld cameras and not everyone had one the the first thing people thought of is how can i manipulate this so they would take a photo and manipulate it and like that's how we get special effects in movies, right? People being creative, and so people are just creative and and do things and go, I oh, I saw a ghost or I saw this, and <laughs> people believe it. And like it's it's a photo from what forty fifty years ago, and we still go, yeah, that was a Loch Ness monster. I'm like, mate, it's real. Someone's having a laugh there. <laughs> um, Poker Sambi saying, would you rather wear a tie for the rest of your life or an ankle bracelet? I feel a tie. Like- the ankle I bracelet, you don't have to fucking choke your neck like this. I had to get another shirt because it was so tight on my neck, guys. I had to get another shirt from the bloody cupboard. This. Ties are cool. Ties are cool, but I wouldn't want to wear it for the rest of my life. I'd rather wear an ankle bracelet and then choose when I w- could wear a tie. 
Okay, no, it's not. It's okay, an Fee Meister. Bracelet. She's saying it's called an anklet. It's an no. ankle bracelet. It's That's ankle what the bracelet. chat has said. And that is well, what it will be. Good day, if, sir. If you're in prison, <laughs> it's definitely an ankle bracelet. House arrest. Um, nice. So I'm just scrolling through chat at the moment. Chum bucket or hungry jacks? I don't even know what that means, mate. Uh, chum bucket is from SpongeBob. Um, SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah. Definitely hungry jacks because the chum bucket is disgusting. We all know that. <laughs> Isn't that the little creature? What is his name? Yeah, plankton. 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 Bloody plankton. Yeah, I like always trying Jacks to as steal well. the the um the formula. Krabby Patty formula. Hey, that's that's the thing, guys. If you didn't know that, like my subscriber logo is an actual sassy patty. Yes, that is right. She mm. is. She's got that little references, little Easter eggs. Yeah. Same as same as myself. So I I first played Sonic the Hedgehog two when I was a kid. That was the first game I ever played, so that's why I have like little Sonic notifications and little sort of a homage back to that because mm. that was like where my origins for gaming started. So that's kind of where I want to tie it into. Yeah. Um. So that's why that's Sonic related. Uh, you're going to so CL is saying you're going to the beach for a sesh. What are you taking? A bag of cans or a box of goon? Oh, a uh, bag of cans. Yeah, cans. I don't cans. know why you would have goon. Cans no of way, uh, no Canadian way. Club and Dry. Boom. Oi, isn't there a um a town in Australia that recently have banned goon? I have no idea. Yeah. Oh, I've got to look for it now. Bloody goon of fortune. Um, bag of something else, said Nina. Calm down. Geraldton. <laughs> W.A. Sydney. Geraldton bans goon bags to curb alcohol-related violence. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, one Aussie coastal city has cracked down on a car on cask wine from being sold after it was blamed for a major problem in the communi- community. <laughs> oh my gosh! Geraldton, WA. The heck? Yeah, Told not just you. goon, mate. It's gonna be bloody all alcohol. Nah, it's just the goon bags, mate. Is there? Oh, very nice. No one photoshop anything onto Sarah's mouth. Um, Sam is saying ties are the worst, especially if you have a fat neck. Bullshit. Ties. Plus, you are feel the like best. you're always working if you have a tie on. No, <laughs> I used to wear ties behind, like when I was um doing bar shifts. Oh yeah, but you're in a bloody professional hotel, mate. No, I was wearing a tie because I was being Avril Lavigne, dude. There you go. She was a <laughs> fucking emo looking. I was. I was. <laughs> That's how I got my style. It was like emo and then it oh. moved into something else. I don't know. Yeah, t- uh, ties. Ties are great. What is your favorite thing to wear? Like, I know you like your streetwear and all that sort of thing. What is, I guess, favorite thing to wear streetwear wise? Mm-hmm. You got like a piece of clothing or shoes or something, like a jacket. One of your oh. favorite go tos, hats. I don't know. What do you like? Yeah, my Jordans. Any Jordans. Jordans. There you go. Yeah. A big Thank collector you. of Jordans. Probably the best ones, my favorite ones are Grape Fives. The ones nice. that Fresh Prince of Bel Air wore. Oh, well, let's not you talk know. about that. Let's not talk about that. You don't Fresh want to Prince fights. of Slap Air. <laughs> <laughs> slap City, bitch. And I got into one little fight. And my mom got scared. <laughs> said, so she said, You're moving to you with your aunt and your uncle in Bel Air. Far out. That aged well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um. Yeah. I. I need to wear. So my shoes. Are, so speaking about shoes, Nikes have been my favorite shoes since about two thousand and nine. Oh, beautiful. So like when I got my first pair of shoes, I got Dunk Lows, and since then I've just loved Nikes. Like it's so comfy. Oh. And yeah. I've worn. I've worn a, a wide range of Nikes. So not just like the Dunk Lows. I've worn. Um. Uh, Air Force Ones. So yeah, the Air Force Ones I love. I legit want to get another pair of Air Force Ones. I've worn mine for like two years straight because they're just so comfy. But I want to wear my uh, Jordan Lowe's, so my red, black, and white ones, but I don't mm. want to wear them too much. So it's like I want to wear them to wear them in where it's comfy because you know how you – I feel like the Jordan isn't as comfy as like the normal Dunk Lowe's or the Air Force Ones because it feels like the heel is like so yeah. solid. 
You need a pair of fives, mate. I swear, Jordan fives are the most comfy shoes I've ever. I wanna. I wanna. I don't want to spend so much on shoes because I feel like the Jordans are so much more expensive. They're like two hundred fifty bucks a pair. Um, and I've wanted to try a pair of threes, fours, and fives. I think. I think the looks of them, like the elephant skin yeah. or whatever. I don't know. There's like all these. Yeah, different the threes. Ones. Yeah, the threes yeah. are nice. The threes are uh, the threes are comfy as well. So the threes and the fives, but like you can get. Um, I don't know what it is with Jordans. There are like certain ones that do get really expensive. Usually the ones that are very close to the originals. Yeah. So like um, the Jordan 5s, the, the great 5s are obviously expensive because it's like a remake of the original. But yeah, like yeah. you can get different colorways and you're not going to have to pay 250 for them. So um, the shoes that I got, like the, the last pair of Nikes I got, they were Air Force 1s. And they were a unique one where I've never seen it before. And recently I saw another pair like that. Like I've never seen it before. Like it was so unique and it was on sale. So it's like they're on sale for some reason. Like I got the pair, the pair of shoes for 110 bucks off the Nike yeah. store on sale. Yeah. And it came so quick and then it was just so comfy. And I'm like, damn, I should have got another pair. Like every time I get a nice pair of shoes and I'm like, I wish I had another pair because it's just so comfy. <laughs> See, now you know why girls, they go out and buy the same shoes in different colors. <laughs> well, yeah, like that's, yeah. I Guys are finally getting there. Like, finally getting there. But it's like, with me, I wear 9.5 US. So it's like, sometimes I don't find the 9.5 size. It's only in like the, the 9, 10 size. So it's like the half size for me fits perfectly because it's like yeah. a bit wider. Um, yeah. I just hate wearing in a shoe where it's like uncomfortable, but like my, um, I've got Supras, like my all black Supras. They're, they're shoe, the Supras. They're kind of my like second favorite. Yeah. I guess shoe, if we're going shoe brands, it goes Nike, then Supras. And then maybe yeah. Vans. I, I think Vans are comfy, but the canvas shoes for me don't fit me as well as like normal shoes. Mm. I, I like the, um, the Jordan, the Nikes. Um, I do love Supras and then the Timberlands are so comfy too. Like Speaking about um, Timberlands, Sambi just said you wear the same shoes as rappers. Nah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I got a pair of, um, my girlfriend bought me a pair of Timberland, um, the Chicago Bulls Timberlands. Oh yeah, dude. I saw them Christmas. online and I'm like, fire, they're so hot because they're red. Oh, they're so nice. I don't want to wear them anywhere because the red is so beautiful with the Chicago Bulls symbol. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I, I honestly don't want to was gonna them. get it because like I saw them on sale. Like you know when Coach Kings has a sale and it's like yeah. half price, like it's the best price you'll ever get it. Yeah. And I was legit like so close. I'm like, I don't think Timberlands would suit me. So I'm like, I don't know. That's why. Oh, I, they would, mate. I, I just they would. That's the thing. Like you know how when you buy stuff online, you haven't tried it on. You're like kind of like weary about it. Yeah. So, like I'm wearing. Right now I'm wearing St. Mortar pants <laughs> under this, this sort of suit get up. Mm. And I was like, I bought them online. I didn't know if it would be good. And I wore them and I'm like, they're so comfy. So it's like, it's a risk when you buy it online. So it's like, yeah. you get on sale, but you can return it. But you then you do this and they're you do They're the that. best pants too, hey. They're I've so, got like four pairs so comfy, of those. Hey. I've, got, sign me. <laughs> yeah, I've got... I've got the St. Morta, um, the denim ones and the denim ones with the yeah. rip in them. And I've got the two. black ones and the yeah. white ones. So I've got the black jeans, the St. Morta ones. Yeah. Um, I've got the, no, the blue ones. I've got a pair of blue, light blue jeans that are ripped. I think they're from JJ's though. So I think I was trying to get the ones from Culture Kings, but they were, uh, uh, they were like sold out. So I had to get the black ones. Hmm. So I got the ripped ones, which were like 60 bucks. So it was still cheap as, but it's like when you're thinking about JJ's, it's like 60 bucks is expensive because you get two for 60, you know, those sales, it's like, oh, two for 60 or whatever. So we got, we got like stuff on sale all the time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was like Chris Rock or Will Smith. I'll be honest. I'll be <laughs> honest. Will Smith fucked up. He yeah. fucked up. I loved Will Smith. Well, I love Will Smith, but I'm, I'm really sad. Yeah. I'm really sad what he did because I actually love his work. Yeah. Like his I, work, his music, his movies. Mate, like he was an icon of the 90s, Fresh Prince. Um, yeah, he's rapping. Well, not rapping, but, you know, these collabs and stuff. And then well, yeah, Bad Boys. Music. 
Bad Boys is like one of my favorite movies. It's like one of those movies that, like, we for Bucks Weekend, I think. Do you mean put Boys it on for, for Bucks Weekend? Like, yeah, I just, we watched it. Yeah, I, I just love chucking it on and having it run in the background. So, like, for me, I was really disappointed about what happened because I'm like, I can't excuse that. Like, I can't excuse that behavior. So, yeah. And he even it, said to himself, like, you see, like, old clips of him and old tweets or posts, like, violence is not the answer and this. Yeah. Well, what happened there, bro? It was like something. He wasn't he something in control of himself. And like um, <laughs> Chris Rock, I, mean, I don't know enough about him. Like his, his comedy is good. I love Everybody Hates Chris. I love like a lot of his movies, but he certainly isn't an icon the way that Beverly Smith Hills Ninja. Is. Come on. He's been yeah. in so much stuff. Oh, yeah. He's, but like, I'm, I like even I saw said, Chris like, Rock live like when like, he was in Sydney doing comedy. That was the first comedy show I I went to where they put your mobiles in a bag, like locked away. Mm. That was like a, I think it was called a blackout tour. Yeah. So you, like you, no one could record anything. No one could take photos. Yeah. And it was actually, it was actually pretty good from what I remember. Yeah, he's, he's good. And like, I didn't think that his um, joke, like I know that they said, that it was um, making fun of a, a disease. I, I don't think it was intended that Alopecia. way. Alopecia, yeah, it's like a skin. Um, yeah, he thing. possibly could have known about it. I don't know, but he I don't think, wasn't making fun yeah. of her disability. Nah, it's just my, a joke. Mind, like, he was just make, yeah. yeah. And she, like, the other thing. She is laughed that, as well. If you saw another angle, she actually laughed. Uh, I so, don't know if she laughed. I Like, I feel like. Will Smith reacted because she, like, I he laughed. They both laughed. laughed. So I think she laughed first and then he laughed. And she and rolled she her eyes roll. and yeah. he noticed. But, like, she's been shaving her hair before the For whole that. alopecia thing came out. So, like, I didn't know that she had alopecia. Yeah, me but I looked, I looked into it and apparently she came out in 2018 maybe or yeah. 2020 about it. Now I know for sure that she was shaving her head before then. So for most people, we just thought it was a joke about the fact that she shaves her hair. Like, yeah, you know, like it. So Will Smith is he's just gone over the top trying to make, try to be all about family and be the be the man and and like I'm I'm not gonna let you make fun of my wife like that. And mm. I think that the way that I would have approached it, I would do it after just, the fact. Well, I wouldn't have laughed for starters. the The camera would have panned to him, and I would have done. I would have done what um Seth was it Seth Rogen? No, not Seth Rogen. The other dude. I just would have been like, "Mm -mm," right? (laughs) I just would have been like, "Not funny." Uh, I know who you're talking about. It's not Seth Rogen. It's not Seth Rogen. It's his mate. It's Um, the other guy. Uh, what is it called? From Twenty One Jump Street. Uh, What's his name? Jonah Hill. Yes, Jonah Hill. I was just been like, nah, man, <laughs> like not funny. I love that and meme. Then, and then everyone would have been like, oh, um, that wasn't funny. He's like, come on, and, man. And, fun, then they, man. and then they would have backed him. And then after the party, like after party, would have gone, hey, dude, like my wife, like please, please don't do that. She's got a, she's sensitive about this. Or even just say, look, dude, don't, don't make jokes about my wife. He could have been the better man. Yeah. Chris Rock would have looked like the bad person. But instead, the way that he reacted, I just thought, oh, I don't know, like movie stars. It's a bit, and a bit these too people much are trained. Well, these people are trained on how to deal with people in the public eye. They know how to talk to people. They know how to act, how to make themselves look good. Plus, he's a comedian, man. He was... Like, come on. Like, when you're a comedian, I feel like everything is off the limits. You can say the wildest shit ever. To be honest, yeah. until you I, get cancelled for saying some outlandish shit, which is like so far bad. Like, and even Ricky Gervais that, didn't get cancelled. <laughs> and Ricky Gervais said some crazy shit in yeah. um, the Golden Globes a couple of years back. Yeah. But I don't know. I just, I just think that you've been trained how to deal with those situations and make yourself look better and look, make yourself look like the better man. And he had an opportunity to do that, and he didn't. And I just go, what was going on there? Like something something wasn't right in his head that night to react like that. Yeah, he was pretty, um, I don't know. 
really angry. Yeah. So who knows? Only only they know what's happening behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, we've gone off in a weird tangent, but it is what <laughs> it is. We, we're just having a chat. I guess it's not too much of a serious interview. Um, anything that you would like to achieve this year? Anything goals stream-wise or content creation-wise? Do you want to jump on TikTok more? What do you want to do? I guess. Yeah, I started doing yourself. a little bit of TikTok stuff. I probably would like to push out a couple of more things there. Um, now that I'm doing Dead Space, there's some pretty good jump scares that I can chuck in there. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd like to do that. Um, but my goal at the moment is just to hit the 100 followers and then Guys, move from there. You're but, not following Sarah Sassy Pants. I'll give her a couple of shout outs at the end. But if you're not following her, please give her a follow. I'll shout her out. Uh, towards the end there we'll watch a couple of little cheeky clips hopefully it's one of the jump scares we've been talking about maybe probably the turkey call <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like um other than that you know i'm not um nothing I'm too not, serious yeah like i said before i don't do it because i want to be big i do it because i want to reach people and that's yeah. that's my only real goal i guess get to 100 followers reach more people have some more that's... more average viewers i guess nice. yeah yeah that's it yeah same here um, it's like i met like sambi through sort of a random raid which is cool um yeah just meeting all people in the across the community so it's like joining their community you get amongst their like people and sort of you know you find your people i guess like we're all into pokemon and that's what brings us together and then we started you know talking random shit like and we're like <laughs> We even met up when Sambi was here for like a, some drinks. Like we, we just had fun. We just clicked. So it's like things like that, you know, you just find people. Sometimes you just click with them straight away and you, you make, um, you make more friends. Um, I guess you game together and you just, you know, that's, that's awesome. Sort of, I, that's what I like about Twitch as well. It's like you find people who are similar to you. So it's like, you know, me and Kiwi playing Apex. Like we've been playing it for like nearly a year now. Um, yeah. And yeah, we we played like not just Apex, like we played like Minecraft here and there. So it's like, you know, playing games with people, like you would never have met this person if you didn't start streaming. Like, yeah. What, like raiding it's a someone community. randomly. Yeah, exactly. 100%. That's what's, it's like, that's what, um, when Facebook first came out, I think that's what Facebook achieved, you know, like we got to meet and talk to people that were friends of friends or that you may have met once and yep. and then you get to connect with them. And I found that Twitch is the same thing. It enables you to meet new people. And I think in this day and age, it's really important because we're so busy yep. in doing our, in our own bubbles, doing stuff that you make, if you meet new people on Twitch, which I have and you have, and we all have, um it adds a little something extra to your life you know you've got a new mate you've got a new friend like it's awesome exactly no nah, it's been good i feel like once you get a good crew going and you're like playing games together or you know whatever you're doing together you go you get like a bit of a flow going and then you can collaborate and like bouncing ideas off each other it's like oh what do you think about this what do you think about this and it's like you're just laughing at each other or with each other that's kind of like a fun part yeah it's like the aussie sort of spirit taking the piss out of each other that's what makes it fun yeah but yeah um anything else you wanted to say um anything you want to ask chat anything you want to highlight got going on anything you got going on in your life the camera is all yours stage is all yours anything you want to promote i've got nothing i want to promote um What's going on in my life? Any uh, charities you support, highlight, whatever. Something you're passionate about. What am I passionate about? I'm passionate about mental health. Mm -hmm. Big, big passion. I, I, if you haven't already guessed, that's why I talk about um, connecting with people. Yeah. Like, um, especially people. men's health. I'm big on men's health because I feel like, um, like, yeah, I'm a lesbian, but I'm, <laughs> I'm not a feminist. <laughs> like, I actually yeah. really care about the men in my life. And um, I've had like guy friends of mine that have gone through some bad shit. And I think that men's mental health is um, a big issue that we need to spend more time on because I think guys in general don't feel like they can be open with mates without being ridiculed. So yeah. that would be the one thing that I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of. And I do Movember, not Movember, I do the Movember. 
which is like <laughs> moving in Movember. Ah, uh, yeah, you do a lot um, of walk stuff, I think, as well. Yeah, yeah. So that's one thing I'm passionate about. And what am I doing this year? Nothing apart from working, um, grinding, probably um, planning a wedding, actually. Oh, damn. Maybe plan yeah, planning a wedding for next year, probably. You heard of your first, so, guys. Sarah Sassipan's planning a wedding for next year. Yeah, it's going to be in movie world. Going to be in movie world. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I think you had. You told me if you ever got married, you would do it in movie world. So yeah, yeah. do something crazy. That's just me. Off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So save the date. I'll give you save the dates at some stage. <laughs> nice. But yeah, the film wife's the exclusive guys. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> just spending the year with my pussy. Whoa, <laughs> guys, that was R rated. Spending a year with my pussy can be taken yeah. in any context. <laughs> Very nice. I like. What yeah, about Gold you? Coast, what guys. do you want to do this year? Um, yeah, so that's a good question. There's a lot of things I want to do. So this whole show, the Phil Meister show, I've kicked that off. Today is the first real episode. I feel like the Friday night community game stream probably been more of my favorite streams to do versus playing Apex. I love Apex and when I play it, I feel like I'm a bit serious because i got to focus on the game and I'm trying to get better. And mm. I do play it off stream as well here and there. But I feel like if I'm not playing with a three stack and we're not all on comms and we're not all in sync, I'm not going to have fun in the game. So I'm just trying to find that. A goal would be to find a team of players to play Apex with and we're all in sync. That would be nice. A stream goal is the Fieldmeister show. So this is the first episode. I want to highlight people from the community like yourself, like Lee, like Sambi, just, you know, our crew, like people we know, people um, that people not may know a lot of, people that people may know, but not know like a lot of like personal stuff. Like, you know, what are you passionate about or what are, what work do you do? Like, you know, like just like, I'm, I feel like, if I can get better at doing sort of the show side, like kicking this off was a big thing for me. So I'm just trying to get that goal of getting the show to the level I want it to be. I hope this year I can do that. And it's because I'm doing it all myself. It's taken a while. I should, I should have done this last year. I wanted to do this last year. Yeah. But last yeah, year I had so much shit going on. It. I had so yeah. much shit going on. I just couldn't do it. Too busy. Um, yeah. Apex, honestly, is probably the most fun game and the game that I've played the longest in a while. And I've never liked Battle Royale games, so that was sort of the thing where I was like, oh, this is actually pretty fun. Um, I'd like to finish more games in my backlog. So, yeah, I think I mentioned to you off, off stream, I want to finish some more games. So, guys, if you want to jump in the Discord, um, what's that? Shadow of Mordor? Yeah, so I want to finish uh, Need for Speed Heat, Shadow of Mordor. Um, what is it? Fucking Spider-Man Spider -Man DLC. DLC. Yeah. So there's a few things. And then Kingdom Hearts. So I, I played Kingdom Hearts a couple years back and then I didn't finish it. I tried to stream it off my PS4, but it wasn't the same. Because I streamed directly off the PS4. I didn't do like the light stream thing. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 But yeah, like with a capture card, I'm actually looking into a, a, a P. So, so a goal... A goal that's really achievable and I can do probably in the next month or two is clean up this whole desk and this whole setup and get a stand for my monitors and then I can put my PC underneath uh, my uh, consoles underneath the monitors. Yeah. So I can clean up stuff around here because I've got, I've got my NAS, which is where my left foot is, and I've got my Xbox One X on there. I've got my PC to my right underneath and I've got my PS4 <laughs> on top of that. Yeah. So it's like the airflow and all this stuff is not the best yeah um yeah there's that's that's quite a lot of things i want to achieve but yeah this show is like a passion project of mine and i want to you know get it better um i feel like just starting it and just doing it and learning as as i go is probably the best way to do it because i was honestly never going to start it because i i'm a bit of a perfectionist yeah. um if you don't know i like to make sure things look good and professional and I'm creative, so yeah, I enjoy this sort of stuff. It makes me happy, even though it's exhausting. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the most important thing is that you're having fun. Yeah. 
I think. I think Otherwise, that's a fine if you're line. Not having fun, don't do it. That's a fine line because like it's like you're not getting enough sleep. Like you got to learn those like little efficiency goals and like you got to know when to stop because like you know we stay up late, do <laughs> all this yeah. streaming and gaming. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I, I know what you mean. Like sometimes I, I'll get on. That's why it's really good about having a schedule though. I think like, cause sometimes you don't feel like, I'm just like, Oh, I feel a bit shit today. But like you get on, you start streaming, you start playing a game and then like people come into the chat yeah, and you, you, you have a chat to them and you get off and you're, I actually really enjoyed that stream. I didn't feel like it beforehand, but you know, everything the people the vibe mm. it, it, it makes it worthwhile so yeah if, um if you're not if you sick, don't get yeah. that if you're yeah. like sick yeah rest yeah. up but if you're like yeah. having a mental block i feel yeah. like you should you shouldn't push through it like you should just be like if i feel like i can do it let me do it if i can't yeah just take the break so i think i think health above all else is and, and your family is probably the top priority yeah. So that's like what you should look after because people will be, you know, you know, in your stream on the next one, you know, like you're not sort of never going to stream again, but it's like, if your mental health isn't there, it's like, cause like everyone goes through, it. it's like, you get disappointed if you don't get X, you know, things done in stream and, and whatnot. So it's like, I don't know. You, you feel hard on yourself. I think you're, you're, you are the hardest on yourself than anyone else is because it's like you put that pressure on yourself to mm. achieve x so it's like yeah it's hard to get that balance so i and i've learned that i'm like dude it's so hard and i've and i've literally wanted to quit so many times but it's like you get to a point where like you don't care about a certain number and it's like let me just achieve like this show or like you know achieve something and you're happy with starting and then you're like all right now i want to get to the next step so it's like i want to create uh scenes for the be right back screen the intro like the starting soon and the ending scene that's the next step so i'm working on on that and then my whole revamp of the stream and my new color scheme that's all done so i'm happy with that but then i still want to create little videos here and there so stay tuned it'll be an upgrade i think the best thing about streaming is that you're learning all the time oh and yeah and i've seen you grow um, since, you know, when you first did it, like you were talking about it before, your camera, your mic, all of the little bits that you add. And I know that I've changed yeah. my stream from when I started, you know, I did the same thing that you did. I was streaming straight from the PlayStation mm. and, and then I brought in, um, uh, light stream so that I could add overlays. And then yeah. I bought myself a gaming laptop so that I could use OBS and I've learned things. I've learned how to interact with people, um, how to how to do things in stream elements and stuff. And I think that's really good. I think it's really important as a human to keep learning things. Like, you know, you learn things at school and then you get into a job and you learn things in a job. And then, you know, you go on, you're just going from nine to five doing the same shit over. Yeah. But then, you know, you bring in something like streaming and you start learning things and the more streams that you watch from other people, you learn what they do and and think about different ways that you can do your content. And that's really good for your brain to yeah. be constantly thinking. Because so, you're, you're engaged and you're thinking. Your mind is constantly thinking. Like I woke up this morning or like yesterday morning and I had a, such a good idea for a, for a clip. Yeah, I was driving into work. Have you seen the Master of Disguise? I don't know if people in the chat like the movie or not. <laughs> we were talking about that the other day, Master of Disguise. <laughs> Your feelings are perfectly noble, <laughs> I say. <laughs> and I'm just like, I just had this idea and I sort of forgot about it. I sort of forgot. I'm like, fuck, I wish I just recorded a, sh a just shitty mock-up version of it. And I'm like, I feel like the future of like us collaborating in content and other people, I feel like gaming is kind of dead like it's it's you either have to be so cracked at it or have like funny things i feel yeah. like yeah gaming you can't be mediocre you have to be either really really good so people watch you because you're good yeah or you have to have good content yeah you have to be funny or you have to do some stuff so like i've got ideas how to do that like i can do voices and i can do all that shit but it's like i feel like i can turn that on better if we just do like stuff like off off like in irl you know yeah 
Um, just yeah. catching up with chat here. <laughs> Sarah is Phil's wife hot. No comment. <laughs> yeah, she's my sexy mama. <laughs> Wait, do you like redheads? Because that's what she is. She's not a redhead. She's like a She's a redhead. Brunette. She's a sexy redhead. <laughs> she's a sexy redhead. Okay. Did she just say she's not a redhead? She, she, she's not. She's got brown oh. hair. Not like br like dark brown, but like... Nice. She's a sexy <laughs> redhead. <laughs> it's blurred. What? Um, CL said, I think you're excellent at this sort of thing, Phil. I can see you. Appreciate that, Amy. I need that motivation. Um, but yeah, like this sort of thing, hopefully I can get better at it and like have proper questions because we've gone off on tangents, but it's a free flowing conversation. So we'll let it take its journey where it is. Um, but yeah, Donnie B, appreciate that brother. Thank you for that. Just Googled her American mate. What the heck are you talking about? CL. It was are probably you, something that we Are you talking about, about Master of Disguise? My name's Gabby, Gabby Num Num. You're a tall drink of water, and I just love moisture. Um, I figured she'd have to be hot to have caught fuel. <laughs> you know what it is. Um, what the heck are you talking about, Sammy? So Sammy and Sila having a little chat in the in the in the chat there. It's all good. Um, but well, yeah, the thing is, I can't read the conversation because I've got you on the ah uh, yeah thing, so I don't know what's <laughs> if they've said stuff. I can't. Well, you, you've got more than one screen, or you just got one screen. You can, you can tap it out. I've got two screens, but the other one's here and I prefer to be looking at the camera. And, yeah, that's all. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I've i enjoyed talking to you tonight, Sarah. I appreciate you coming on. Thank you for your time. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I I will do some couple of cheeky shouts for Sarah Sassy Pants right now, guys. If you are not following Sarah, I can spell her name. If you're not following Sarah, guys, get amongst it. I'm going to just shout her out. Follow her on Twitch. Here we go. She's playing some Bioshock. Uh -huh. but that was a funny clip. Oh, CL, appreciate the bits, Hobby. Much Holy love. Holy shit. Oh, that was when I needed a drink. Holy shit. Did you see my health and my Eve? I got none left. Yeah, you, you had like oh your my health gosh, and your I can't Eve. I believe like I just did this. I need a, a drink. A millimeter. Yep, you yeah. said I need a drink. <laughs> <clears throat> Woo! I'm not an alcoholic, guys. I think no she comment. gonna transform and. Uh, what was this game? Yeah. I she, remember. You could have abandoned her. Uh, back for blood. Just let her fall. It's like someone falling in the chasm. It's like, alright, oh. now you swing the rope. There's well, no had, time. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> just run away. Over? I can't remember. Yeah. See? Yeah. Well, yeah, we did yeah. a Halloween stream. Yeah, that's right. I, uh, I was a good person. House of Ashes. I think okay. that's it. Yeah, yeah, Fuck, I'm so sorry, eh? I had to turn my fan on. <laughs> well, you still wanted her to die, so are you really a good person? Uh, How? Well, you were just hoping that she would die. I didn't hope that she would die. You hoped that she would die. <laughs> <laughs> but I quote, hopefully she just falls and it's not like <laughs> Two seconds ago. Don't clip Classic. that. Don't clip that, so I had to clip it. <laughs> Will you shut that damn door? We can't, we can't <laughs> shut the door until they're all in. Have you played Back for Blood lately? No. They've got yeah, new yeah. um, downloaded content, so I should. I wanted to try it, but like, I just had no time. Like, There's so much games. Oh, shit. Like... He's angry. He's angry. Oh, He's angry. Oh, my girlfriend comes running at Go me. Go away. Goodness me! Oh, there you go. Hey, Sarah Sassy oh, Pants pulling some cards. Yes, we got a good hit, guys. Nice. Yeah, we did. Gold Star Umbreon. We got the yeah. Gold Star that Umbreon. One. That got, is I've it. Got two of those. Are... All right. Far out. Kill me, eh? All right, we're on a winner now, guys. Billy. And Billy. I think that's it. Very good clips. So we didn't fun. have any of my uh, jump scares. No, we didn't. We games. had the funny um, Bioshock ones. We mm. had a couple of classic comedy ones. <laughs> the ones it's that weird I how it myself. chooses. Yeah, I don't know, um, like, where if it's random. Because I, I have, like, a, my bigger back screen that does, like, a, a clip sort of stuff. And I just did it off stream. And he literally played the same clips. So I'm like, sometimes I wonder if it's like a certain time, does it do like certain clips random? I don't know. It must have a, it must have like a timer 
where it's like between the hours of this and this, it plays these clips. I have no idea. <laughs> I was hoping we get the turkey one. <laughs> Guys, if you're not on Twitter, exclamation mark socials, get amongst the Twitter. We have a clip IRL in Corumban, Sanctuary, where oh, yes. we did the turkey gobble as well. Um, but yeah, appreciate your time, homie. Um, I don't know if you want to stick around. We, we've got, uh, it's 11.29, so maybe I'll play some. Uh, maybe I'll play some marbles and we'll just chill out with some music tonight. I didn't do the musical... Um, number. I probably, I'll probably won't do it tonight. Um, Samby's not coming on. Yeah, Samby. Unfortunately, Samby's not feeling well. He's got, um, he's got Corona and he's a bit tired. So <laughs> that's all good. Uh, we'll postpone his interview to next, uh, next week or next session whenever he's feeling better. Um, but yeah, we'll probably just jump into some games. Um, yeah, he's feeling a bit drowsy, mate. You've been popping a bit of uh, Zyrtex and whatnot. A little bit of panties and, and whatnot. But, yeah, no, nah, it's, all, it's all good, guys. Um, honestly, the, the interviews have been great tonight. Um, I didn't, you know, know how good it will go, but I really struggled to get this setup done this way. It was actually really hard to fix this up properly, so I had to learn how to do uh, do, do this one. Um, but I'm happy with it. I've kind of got, I've got the... Um, like flow of it. So I think we'll, we'll be fine to do a one-on-one -on -one interview. The, if it's more than more than two people on the screen, it'll look a bit weird. Um, so I've got to figure that out for another sort of style, but yeah, we've had a lot of fun. So yeah, I appreciate you, Sarah. Thanks for that. Um, we'll probably, I'll go to a break. Give me, give me maybe three to five minutes so I can just cool off. I'll probably take off my jacket and all that. I'll just put a t-shirt on. <laughs> um, and we'll put just, on the, uh, yeah. P fam. Uh, P fam. I don't know where it is. I haven't had a shower yet. I have to get you a Sarah Sassy Pants one. Yeah, I need I need that collab. We wear each other's shirts. Yeah. <laughs> Co promotion. Yeah. Um but yeah, guys, if you're not following Sarah again, give her a little cheeky follow. I can come on for a bit, but no intellectual questions. Nah, it's all good, bro. It's all good. We'll, we'll, we'll take I want you at your best. I want you at your best. So we'll have we'll have a proper we'll content for next week. Yeah, exactly. I've got you lined up for next week if you're all good. Um, but yeah, we're going to go to a break now. Um, guys, grab a drink, go to the toilet, whatever you need to do. do round, of, shot. round of applause for Sarah, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Appreciate you. Thank Happy you. Easter. Happy Friday. Happy long weekend. And let's uh, get amongst it. Love you long time. Love ya. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed part two of the first episode of the Phil Meister Show. Let me know what you guys thought of the interview. What was your favorite part? Something you might have found out about Sarah that you didn't know before. Let me know what your favorite part was in the comments below. Like the video, guys. It just shows tons of support. Consider subscribing for more episodes coming out soon. We've got Poker Sambi coming up for episode two of the Phil Meister Show. Laters. Laters.